Yeah. Tonight we're learning new information about the suspect who's been arrested for allegedly killing an Indianapolis firefighter and a local attorney. The man under arrest tonight is the brother of the firefighter. Our Emily Longnecker joins us tonight after digging into the arresting documents and brings us the interview with the daughter of the attorney who was killed. Emily. We're not saying the suspect's name until he's officially charged, but the arresting documents detail what police say led up to the shooting. The suspect is the brother of Justin Boyd, the Indianapolis firefighter who was killed. Boyd's front seat passenger was Jasmine Ivy, a local attorney. We spoke to Ivy's daughter today about her mother and the last conversation she had with her less than an hour into the new year. And she just told me uh, that we would talk about our New Year's resolutions when she came back and she'd be home soon. But Jasmine Ivy never made it home. She was shot and killed just a few hours into the new year. I just kind of sit and think about all the things I'm going to have to do without her. I'm going to have to celebrate her birthday without her every New Year. I'm going to think about how she died on New Year's. Arresting documents for the suspect who allegedly shot Ivy and Boyd lay out what investigators say the suspect told friends and family about what happened early New Year's Day. According to court documents, the suspect had gotten a ride home early New Year's Day from Boyd. The suspect later told friends he fell asleep on the ride home and when he woke up didn't recognize the two people in the front seat and thought he was being carjacked or robbed. He told friends he asked the driver where his brother was, but got no response at first, then heard the driver say he was taking him home. The suspect also said he thought he heard one of those people racking a gun, so he shot them both. That's when the truck all three were in crashed. When police first got the 911 call about the crash, they thought it was because the driver was intoxicated. They later found Boyd and Ivy shot. She was really close to home when they crashed. She was just around the corner. Not long after the crash, court documents show the suspect called 911 to report he'd shot someone because he was carjacked near 38th Street and Michigan Road. When police showed up, the caller wasn't there, and neither was any kind of scene. According to court documents, the suspect went to Boyd's house later that morning looking for his brother, telling Boyd's son they'd been carjacked the night before and that he shot two people. Now Amara Ivy will think about the mother who raised her on her own while putting herself through college and law school. The one person who always reminded Amara how beautiful she was, even when she didn't think so. How could I be ugly when I look like her? <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> According to court documents, when police searched Boyd's truck, they found two handguns. Investigators also researched the phone number of the person who called saying he had shot someone during a carjacking. Court documents show that phone number belonged to the suspect who was arrested later New Year's Day. Emily Longnecker, 13 News.